Hi, it's John. It's something like the 2nd of July, uh, 2015. And I remember when f computers first came in, there was a program that is called Garden Design, which was quite popular. And you um, obviously designed your garden on the computer, and then after a year or two, um, no, then you could move it on a year or two and see how it would be, you know, in, in a couple of years' time. And uh, then in ten years' time. And of course, eventually it got completely out of control. And you can see where I'm heading here, can't you? Well, I mean, our garden looks a little bit getting that way. It hasn't been designed on a computer, but it's still getting a little bit out of control. It's getting very vertical. It was a very horizontal garden, but now it's getting very vertical. Um, and uh, I went to somebody's garden once, where, where it was completely out of control. They planted fruit trees much too close together. I think we're okay still, because a lot of these shrubs we can hack back quite a bit. And the fruit trees aren't too close together. Um, the, uh, got the russet apple in the middle, and then uh, plum tree um, to the right. And then just behind that there's a pear tree. No pears on it this year. And um, uh, just in front of the chicken run there, there's a cherry tree. And then a crab apple tree there. Oh, and then over over behind the Budlia there, there's a um, discovery apple tree. So, not too bad. And they're all dwarf varieties, so I've learned how to prune now. So I'm cutting back the the non-fruiting wood. You should keep it all in check. This is looking good. Well, one of the reasons it's looking good, I think, is because we've had a water leak up the road, and I think that water leak has been water in the garden, sort of from underneath. Right, bye for now.